have a home and home with them, but that's the only two games we're playing right now. I wish it were more. Oh, I, we when I came to Penn State, it was a big, a big rivalry for us, Syracuse and Penn State. And it, it's some great games in. Trailing 14 nothing after three quarters, the Lions begin the long road back. Jack Ham recovers an orange fumble. Lydell Mitchell finds daylight, and the Lions have six points with ten crucial minutes to play. On a perfectly executed counterplay, Harris dashes 36 yards. And with the conversion, State leads 15 to 14. Joe Paterno calls the 15 to 14 victory one of the great comebacks in Penn State history. I think probably the one that would stand out the most would have been the, uh, I think it was 55 when they had Jimmy Brown and we had Lenny Moore. They beat him 21-20, I think, and Lenny ran for about 145 yards, and Brown ran for about 150. And in those days, they were only carrying the ball 12, 14 times. There's two of the greatest football players ever played the game. Lenny may be the best player that ever played at Penn State. That one, and then I think that when we played, we were undefeated when they won a national championship. When we went for two and didn't make it, or they, we would have beaten them. They were a heck of a football team. But it, that was a big time game, a big time game. Penn State and Syracuse have played a lot of big time games. In fact, the Nittany Lions have played Syracuse the second most times of any opponent. And the 69th meeting also marked Penn State's first road game of the season. Syracuse won the toss and deferred, and that looked like a good decision when the Nittany Lions lost the ball in just the second play of the game. Back he goes, first pass attempt, has a lot of time. Scrambles near side, wants to stop it off, fumbles the football. Does Syracuse have it? They pick it up, and yes, Syracuse recovers at the 35-yard line. Santiago recovered, and now the Penn State defense will walk out with their backs to the wall. Three receivers and an eye to the far side. Short drop. They throw that bubble screen. It's incomplete. Is it a loose football? Lydell Sargent jumps on it, and Lydell Sargent recovers the football. Penn State gets the takeaway back. The Nittany Lions wasted no time in getting the football back and doing something with it. In a strange start, the first five plays of the game produced two turnovers and a touchdown. Sets, he looks downfield, and Norwood's there at the Circus 33, turns inside 30, there goes Norwood, 25, 20, Georgia the 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State, a 55-yard strike from Darrell Clark. He does a good job at just going down the field, making it look like he's going to the middle of the field, and then going back to the outside, the timing between Clark and Norwood was right on the money, and he circles back and into the middle of the field and outruns the entire secondary. You talk about a turn of events on the first couple of plays of this game, and all of a sudden Penn State takes 7 nothing late. This was the first time Penn State had taken their highly productive offensive show on the road. And after the early turnover, they were operating with the same precision that they had displayed in two games at Beaver Stadium. On this drive, quarterback Darrell Clark converted three times on third down. Short drop, lobs far corner for Butler, touchdown Penn State! What a catch by Dion Butler! And I'll tell you, not bad coverage, but an outstanding throw and an outstanding catch. Hall of Fame coach Joe Paterno has assembled a balanced offense that is one of only four in the country putting up the lethal numbers they are on both the ground and in the air. Tailback Evan Royster shared the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week honors and is a big reason why Penn State leads the conference in rushing. Derek Williams is a microcosm of the Penn State offense helping both the passing and running games. Gives it to Derek Williams, sweeping near side, turns the corner, 15, Derek to the 10, to the 5, Derek Williams hurdles to the pylon, and he's down at the one yard line. Lawler up the middle, Dan Lawler, touchdown. Penn State did what they had to do, come out here early, take control of this football game, and they have done that in the first quarter. But they didn't take control with just the offense. Penn State's defense with a depleted defensive line was smothering. They held Syracuse the negative yardage in the first quarter and didn't even allow the Orange a first down. Sets, gets away, <laughs> down he goes. Aaron Maven got a hand on him and Lucian cleaned up. Syracuse offensively is not even trying to go down. Field. Really all linebackers and defensive linemen really controlling this game. Up the middle and Agbu just takes Brinkley and rips him down. Penn State has had four defensive players suffer season-ending injuries, but even with some offensive linemen shifting to defense, the unit remains one of the best in the country. Pat Devlin came in at quarterback in the second quarter, but not much changed. 
in the air or on the ground. Royster up the middle, following Lawler, 45, 40, swings it to the left, 35, 30, secondary, 25, 20. The Evan Royster Express just keeps on rolling. Devlin throws far corner for Butler, reaches up, he's got it at the goal line. Touchdown, Penn State. Pat Devlin's first career touchdown pass. Pat Devlin and Darrell Clark would both throw two touchdown passes in the first half. Players changed regularly at many positions. The results did not. Penn State would score five touchdowns in a span of six possessions. Green up the middle. Green is hit, breaks a tackle to the 35, 30. Green ahead to the 27-yard line and a first down. Devlin takes it. Devlin sets. He throws for Norwood, makes the catch of the five. Touchdown, Penn State. Two different quarterbacks now have over 100 yards passing for Penn State in the first half. Darrell Clark and now Pat Devlin, the latest to find Jordan Norwood. The defense continued to do their job with a passion. Despite the comfortable lead, they dug in and hit like the game was on the line on every down. In fact, the Nittany Lions held Syracuse to just three first downs and only 42 total yards in the first half. And while the Orange did put up a couple of field goals, Penn State maneuvered to get one of those back on the last play of the half. From 52 yards away. He's on the Lou Groza watch list. He'll head up that list with a few more kicks like that. And what a first half it was for Penn State. And the second half didn't begin badly either as Drew Astorino picked off Syracuse quarterback Cameron Dantley. Back goes Devlin, blitz picked up, he delivers, it's caught by Powell, 40, breaks the tackle, 35, cuts inside, 30, Powell's to the 25 where he fumbles the football as Syracuse is around it and Penn State recovers. It bounces around down there, you have McDonald just coming down, hustling on the play, saw the ball alive and ends up with the football. Everything was going right for Penn State, although the breaks often go to those who work hard and hustle and this was a prepared group of Lions. A pitch out to Green. Syracuse scored a touchdown, but the Nittany Lions have found a way to take the sting out of giving one up. Three of the four times they have this season, they've answered with their own score. This one set up by a 69-yard return by Chaz Powell. Powell and Wagner's first career field goal is a Nittany Lion. In the fourth quarter, Penn State would go to Paul Cianciola at quarterback, and he too moved the Nittany Lions, becoming the third quarterback of the day to throw a touchdown pass. Back goes Cianciola with time, he throws for Moy, complete the 15, Moy to the 10-5, touchdown, Penn State, Derek Moy, his first career touchdown catch, and the Nittany Lions lead it 54-13. to 13.